Hi everyone, this is Rick with RAM Mats, and today we're going to take a look at the IntelliSkin with GDS technology for the Apple iPad Air 2. IntelliSkin is a very durable and rugged, but also very thin and low profile protective case for your iPad that also offers charging capabilities with these outside docking contacts shown here. With these power pins and the distinctive D-shape, you can connect your tablet to any GDS docking station, such as the desktop dock shown here, for routing power and or data to your device. Whether you're at home or in the office using the desktop dock, or on the go in any vehicle, you can use a variety of vehicle docking stations as well that are available both in locking and non-locking options. On the back of the Intel skin, you have a round opening for connecting the optional RAM handstand accessory. This is a two-in-one hand strap and kickstand that allows more ease of access and operation of the tablet. And also along the four corners of the Intel skin, you have openings for routing the shoulder strap accessory as well. So anywhere you go, you can keep your tablet well connected as well as well protected with certified drop protection standards. In this video, we'll show you exactly how to install the tablet in the Intel skin as well as how to remove the tablet if needed. So here we have the Apple iPad Air 2 outside of the Intel skin. Now the first thing to identify is the location of the bottom lightning connector that's located inside of the Intel skin. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is oriented in the same position as the charging port of the iPad. So first you simply insert the iPad into the IntelliSkin in a fashion where there's just a little bit of a gap between the charging port and the lightning connector right here. And you just wrap a little bit of the IntelliSkin around the sides of the tablet and then gripping onto the bottom of the IntelliSkin and on the top of the iPad, you're just gonna slowly guide the iPad over that lightning connector and you should feel that connector engage with your iPad. And once that's properly in place, you can then wrap the rest of the Intel skin around the corners, working with one corner at a time. You just snap inside, work your way over to the other side and snap into that corner. And the install is now complete. You can put this on any docking station. Now, if you ever need to remove your iPad from the Intel skin, the removal process is very important. For one thing, it's important not to peel away from the corners on the same side as the lightning connector because you have to keep in mind you have a connection inside of here. So you always want to start by peeling away first on these top two corners, but you also may notice that these corners may be very difficult to peel away and you might be afraid of peeling too hard and you don't want to damage the iPad itself. So if this is too difficult to peel away by hand, we actually recommend taking a flathead screwdriver and using this outer hole that's used for the shoulder strap accessory, you simply squeeze firmly onto the tablet, insert the flathead screwdriver into the opening corner of the Intel skin. It's very important not to actually wedge, you don't want to wedge the screwdriver into the Intel skin. You don't want your screwdriver to make any contact with the actual tablet. Just insert into that outer hole, squeeze on the tablet, press outward, and you can expose that corner easily. Pull the screwdriver out, work your way to the opposite side and then you just repeat you squeeze on the tablet insert the screwdriver into the hole push away to expose that outer corner then you just peel the rest of the intel skin away once you get towards the bottom you just grab onto the top of your ipad and the bottom of the intel skin and you just pull away in one easy motion and you can just peel the rest of the intel skin away as needed